Now, um, uh, we featured the work of the Burgess Hill Theatre Club a lot on the show. Last time we were talking Agatha Christie and The Hollow, which was a huge, huge success. They're doing something very different this time now. I'm delighted to welcome Phil Hawkins from the Theatre Club into the studio. Good afternoon. Uh, that was a big success, wasn't it, The Hollow? It was brilliant, yeah. We, we sold out six performances of that, all of wow. our all our performances. We did two dinner theatres as well, which was really successful. So everyone got a meal before on the Saturday What a good nights. idea. Uh, yeah, that was there. Yeah, went really well. It's a really thriving, successful uh, theatre company, isn't it? You, you, and you do some really lovely productions. This one, your latest, The Lifesavers. Now, this is something that I, I, you know, I've not heard of this production, but really interesting. As far as I know, it's only been performed once before professionally. And that was in, um, I think, in Colchester and in London. It was a kind of joint production between two theatres. And then I don't think it's been performed since. Um, Stan, correct me, anybody that might might know otherwise but um but the the playwright fraser grace is a bit more famous for a play did at the rs wrote it for the rsc called breakfast with mugabe which some people might have heard of um but yeah this one's quite an unknown one so why why did you decide to venture into this unknown territory well i i was browsing through a uh, theater bookshop in london uh, called samuel french uh, bookshop and i just came across it it was in a it was in a sort of section of the theater and I'd, i think i'd bought about five plays that day just to sort of browse <laughs> through and see if any of them were interesting to direct and um and this one the the description on the back peaked and dressed it was very um it's sort of set in a dystopian other world almost yeah what if the world had changed what if parenthood was forbidden what if you broke the rules it sounds mm. like a really good test production it is and it's, it's basically set in this kind of like parallel world it's not massively sci-fi or anything like that but it's it's this sort of like alternative history where things have gone slightly differently and, and the government has banned people raising their own children and this, this couple decide to, to break those rules and secretly raise a child. And so it all unfolds from, from there. Mm. Yes, Was it challenging dramatic. to put this on? It is. It's a very challenging piece and I think it it's, gives some great opportunities for some brilliant acting from from the cast and uh and you know challenges from every aspect from from the sound and the lighting design um and just everything about it has been a it's been a really exciting yeah. challenge i was gonna say i can imagine that you have to have some really strong actors to pull this one off yeah and we've been really lucky with the with the guys we've got and the especially in the two leads uh, who have to hold up quite a lot of the show because they're in they're in like about you know 80 percent of the scenes um and yeah, we've we've been really lucky with those. Yeah, it's it's quite a pressure, isn't it? And mm. and and you're you're thriving. Are you got lots of people involved? Yeah, we've got we, as as a club generally, we've got lots of people involved. Um, we, we've got over a hundred members, and uh, so people come in and out on different productions. So for instance, like I was in the Hollow, um, as an actor, and then uh, and then we did a summer production as well called Curtain Up, uh, which I wasn't involved in personally, other than a, a bit of publicity stuff. Um, because you know, not everybody has time to do every every production. And I suppose certain productions su- suit different actors better. Absolutely, yeah. And some productions like this one, it's quite a small cast. We've only got five in the cast, so uh, having that turnaround, we do three plays a year in a panto. So th- there's usually something for everyone, and we try and get a, a sort of diverse mix of different genres and things. So we, this year already, we've had the costume drama in the Agatha Christie, a comedy <laughs> in Curtain Up, and now this sort of more serious drama. And tickets are still available. Twentieth to the 22nd of October, 8 o'clock, Burgess Hill Theatre. Yeah. Perfect thing to this do. This Thursday. Yes, that's come round quickly, <laughs> it hasn't has, it? Yes. <laughs> we found ourselves at the end of October already. How do people book tickets? Uh, you can, uh, well, the best way to do is probably to ring our, our box office, uh, which is 01444. Two four, oh, I've forgotten it. Two four two nine eight four. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well done. You've remembered it. <laughs> and uh, tickets still available for that. It sounds a wonderful production. Burgess Hill Theatre. Go to the website as well. It's called the Lifesavers. And uh, bargain at ten pounds. Perfect way to spend a winter's evening, really. And panto wise, what are you planning this year? We've got Puss in Boots this year. Oh, fantastic! So that's that's exciting. This about to start rehearsals on that. Do you know? I think that's one of the only pantos that I haven't seen recently. Well, you must come. I along. will come along to that one definitely. Well, lovely to see you, and hope it all goes well. Thank Thanks you. so much much for coming in.